What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's actually, it's it's the final day. It's Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas Eve, by the way. I hope you're looking forward to pulling something decent tomorrow on Christmas Day, whether it be just a general present or are you pulling some Pokemon cards yourselves? Probably asking yourself, why is there three bloody PSA slabs right in front of you? And uh, to answer that question is my brother recently got back into collecting again, as a result of me getting back into collecting again, and he, uh, he managed to get a hold of some pretty beautiful cards and he sent them off to PSA to get graded and uh, and, 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 then, and they're here. They're right here. So uh, yeah, no, we're going to be looking at them at some point today. I just figured I'd end on a I'd end on a bang. You also may notice that there's three of them, so it coincides perfectly with the fact that we're going to be opening up. Oh, you're kidding. I don't know if that's the best so far. I think it may be top two. But yeah, guys, we're actually going to be opening up not one. I don't know how... I don't have the room for this. You know, I'm just going to slide the bad boy in there. So there's two and there's three. Jesus, they're not going to fit in the screen, are you? But yeah, guys, we're going to be opening up three Pokeballs today. We're going to be having a Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball. And between each ball, we're going to be uh, reviewing one of these PSA returns for my brother, which, trust me, you're not going to want to miss. But, yeah, so we're going to go from uh, Pokeball to Great Ball to Ultra Ball, as previously said. We're going to go with the three classics. I figured I'd just save them to the end. I was only going to open up one Pokeball, and then I thought, you know what, I opened up two yesterday, so I need to top that and open up three today. And, you know what, three times the chance of pulling a Charizard, finally pulling something decent, although a lot of you seem really keen on me pulling another goddamn Farfish. I don't blame you. You seem to get entertainment out of me pulling horrific uh, pulls, especially from Evolutions. I also didn't do myself any favours by just disposing of those cards in a very unique way. Also, you may be noticing uh, this is a very different place. That's because I'm actually filming from a hotel room. I actually traveled uh, I traveled to see family for Christmas. But yeah, nah, so it's a completely different scene. It's the laughter of the series. But yeah, guys, this is the unofficial Pokemon TCG Advent Calendar opening, culminating in the giveaway of some some pretty decent base set series cards, which I'll whack up on the screen here for you. All you've got to do to be entered in to win those cards, guys, is be a subscriber and like and comment on all 24 videos from the first of December to the 24th of December. That includes today's video, of course, because it's the 24th. It's the final video. And tomorrow at 8 a.m. British Standard Time, which is, uh, which is, I believe, midnight Pacific Standard Times in the U.S., I'm going to be stopping the draw, and I'm going to be working out who the winner is by a random generator. Make sure you've liked and commented on all bloody 23 videos before this one, obviously, and then including this one, too. And uh, you'll be in with a chance to win those cards tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, good luck to all. Yeah, should we get in the ball? Let's get in the bloody balls. Let's start with the classic Pokeball, guys. Let's just crack into it, because it's going to be a longer video than usual. Right, Pokeball. I like the lighting in this room, actually. That Pokeball looks really on point, I don't know, but then you can see my two ring lights there. Kind of looks like eyes. Right, let's stop enough jibber-jabber, and let's get into the goddamn ball. Right, what do we got? What do we got? Oh, hell yeah, what a start. We got the Raichu promo coin, the shattered glass looking bloody uh, Raichu coin, which is definitely the coin to beat, even though we've only pulled two coins from this entire series. Right, right packs wise, we've got Burning Shadow, Sun and Moon and Evolutions. People are hoping I pull Charizard. I think more people are hoping I pull a Farfetch'd. But uh, some people wanted a Diglett and a Raticate, of course. But uh, yeah, no, let's uh, let's just go in that order. Should we start with Burning Shadows? I would happily take that Rainbow Rare Charizard. Kyo card. Come on, first pack of magic. One, two, three, four to the front. Right. So we got Darkness Energy, Electric. We got Peter Pan. We got a Confused Owl. We got an Oddish. We got, I'm assuming, a very soggy fish because it is made of wool. We got a muddy horse. We got a stuff all. We got a bat. Got a reverse holo togedemaru. I do like that art. I put a log of, uh, I put a lot of togedemarus. And on, oh wow, what a stuff! <laughs> no way! The first pack magic of Burning Shadows of this series. People wanted it. You brought the heat, guys. We actually have gone and done it. A Charizard. It's not the Charizard we wanted, but it's the Charizard we got. But at this point, I'll take any Charizard I can get. It actually happened. Okay, okay. What a start. What an absolute start. He's a beautiful card. I'm pretty sure I pulled this uh, before, though. So look look out for the doubles giveaway early next year. When I say next year, it makes it sound like it's a long way away. You're going through me doubles. I might even do it on the, in a video and just work out what we'll be giving away for January, but yeah, nah, sweet, what a start. Right, sun and moon. Okay, card. One, two, three, four to the front. Yep, let's get that in there. Fire energy, team skull grunt, melon head monkey, great ball, Fermentus, some smog, rock with a hole in it, 
depressed sandcastle, caterpie, reverse hollow pincer, and oh, two cannon, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I, don't, I can't, I really can't be angry. You're gonna lie. I got first, not only the first pack magic, you got first pack magic with the Charizard pull. It's, it's, uh, that is bizarre. He's actually, I'm, I'm, it, it is thanks to you guys that I pulled the Charizard. It's absolutely unreal. Right, evolutions. Hopefully, we pull another Charizard because we're gonna be able to have three balls today. You never know. People were calling double Charizard today, especially a reverse hollow from this. Right, code card. One, two, three to the front. Right, what do we got there? The centering is awful on that card. So it's probably going to be a Charizard, isn't it? When the centering is absolutely fucking awful. Right, Poliwell to start. Full heal. Porygon. Diglett. Rattata. Charmander. Energy. Pikachu, that's always a good sign. <laughs> I'm haunted by it. It was always going to happen. People wanted me to pull Eradicate, but I pulled a Reverse Holo Eradicate Rare, so not, not too bad, not too bad, but right, right, right. Let's see what we finish on. <laughs> okay, okay, right. That is, a, that is a very good pack. Okay, let's get that out the way. You're kidding. It's like I saved all the best pulls for laugh. Why am I still staring at that Raticate? I don't care about it anymore. Right, guys. I pulled the Pidgeot EX in a previous video, which was a lot of people's favorite pull of the series thus far, but I'm probably it's probably going to be this or the Charizard now, I imagine. Not only was it first pack magic, it was absolute first ball magic. What an absolute start. Again, of course the centering was going to be fucking awful on that. As you can see, it's very heavy on the left side, but... Oh god, I've got no sleeves here. You're kidding. Watch me pull a Charizard now. Another Charizard and I got no sleeves. This is concerning. Right, yeah, we've seen that now. So let's let's check out a PSA card, shall we? Let's check out a PSA card. Right, should we go from left to right? Let's go from left to right. And you know what? Let's see, let's see how he did. Well, I know how he did, but I just figured let's let you see how he did. So first off, we have got a first edition rocket goal back in a PSA 9. Beautiful card. Absolutely beautiful card. What a start to the bloody pools in the PSA card review. It's, uh, we're looking good. This video is looking bloody good. Shall I just keep him up like that? Yeah, let's just keep him up like that. Yeah, right. Yeah, nah. Okay. The next ball is the great ball. Let's get into it, eh? It's probably the most symmetrical great ball I've opened up so far, but Jesus Christ, the nostalgia's right there, isn't it? Right, what do we got inside? What do we got inside? I think that's a. Oh, yep, no, nah, a classic. All right, coming to focus from there. It is. We got a Volcanian coin. Look at it, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I can't even be upset anymore with it. Yeah, the way, tin. Right, Burning Shadow, Sun and Moon, Upside Down, Primal Clash. Okay, not another Evolutions. That Sun and Moon feels thick. That Burning Shadows feels thick. And I've already pulled a Charizard. Right, so let's go let's go like that, shall we? Yep, sweet, starting a sun and moon. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Water energy. A bloody laser. An aggressive goal bat. Pretty cool artwork dragon there. We've got a seagull. We've got a stuffed animal. We've got a little seal. We got again that Zubat who looks like he's been punched in the back. We've got a Shelda. We've got a Reverse Holo Arcanine, which is a Reverse Holo Rare. We are really not doing too bad with the Reverse Holos today. Uh, and on the end, we've got... The Sandcastle doesn't look depressed anymore. Just a little little version of him still quite depressed. That's just... That doesn't even look like a Pokemon. Like, that doesn't really look like eyes. That doesn't look like a mouth. I'm really disappointed with that, but I can't be too disappointed with that. We've got the Reverse Holo Rare to start us off. That's not first pack magic, but yeah, nah. I'll take it. Right. Primal Clash, you have treated me well, so let's uh, let's continue that on. Chode card. One, two, three to the front, right. Acro bike. We've got that cool artwork Nido Queen. We've got that cool artwork Macargo. We've got a Sunny Rock. we got, I'm assuming is some sort of, again, doesn't even look like a Pokemon. Uh, they were getting lazy with this. We've got a Nidoran. we got a, I like that artwork Tangler. Some of these Primal Clash artworks I'm a big fan of. We've got an Illumise. We've got a Reverse Hollow Torch. It just looks so happy to be pulled. And on the end, we've got a Dugong ripoff. Not happy with that. Primal Clash. I don't know if there's going to be a Primal Clash in the last bloody ball. I hope not. I want to finish with Evolutions because I still want to pull that Charizard. But uh, yeah, no, let's uh, let's carry on with Burning Shadows. Burning Shadows. Code card. One, two, three, four to the front. I don't think we're going to top the first ball opening, are we? We got a Water Energy. We got a Rotom Dex. We got a super scoop up. We got an Electabuzz. We got a Tangler. 
We've got a right horn, got a Riolu sprinting down a beach, we've got a mosquito, we've got a soggy fish, we've got an oddish, and on the end, oh no! Great ball, you did not deliver with the pulls! That's a shame, again, I can't be mad, I, I started too strong, I think, I, I think I'm not going to lose it today. Right guys, let's check out that other PSA card, we have got another... Rocket first edition Dark Dog Trio in another PSA 9. Look at the absolute sparkle on that bad boy. This is one of my favorite artworks ever and the nostalgia is so strong with this. I remember owning this when I was younger. It wasn't first edition, but bloody hell, love this card. Love the artwork and my brother is absolutely buzzing with it. The only reason I think this didn't get a 10 is because there's the tiniest print lines. I don't know if you can actually see it on there. It almost looks flawless from this angle. But yeah, nah, this was a beautiful bloody, I can't fault it whatsoever. We can have a look. We already sort of saw the back, didn't we? There's no white spots on that card. But again, I think it was the print lines that cost it because the centering is absolutely phenomenal. But yeah, guys, that is number two. Right. Actually, you know what? I got a bonus card for you. I, think, I told you I'd show it on the channel. So my brother, as you know, got me that PSA Zapdos Unlimited. So uh, for him for Christmas, I got in this card. It's raw, but I'm hoping he sends it off to PSA. It, it is absolutely flawless, but let's actually, you know what? Before we give it all, before we properly see it, I'll get it out of the goddamn, uh, I've got to be gentle with it though, because we are sending this off to PSA. So right, yeah, I'm not going to take it out of this sleeve though. He, he was a lucky boy this Christmas, so if I must say, I got a pretty good deal on this card in the end. It is a first edition Misty's Gyarados. Look at that, look at that. As much as I don't like Misty, I can't fault her Gyarados. Gyarados. Gyarados is again one of my favorite Pokemon, one of my brother's favorite Pokemon. So I just thought, you know what? I saw this. I was finally up on the phone to him at the time, and I was just browsing eBay, and I saw an auction last minute, and you know, I got a pretty good deal on it. So I couldn't, I could not say no. Chucked in a last bid at like eight seconds to go. So if you were the person I outbid that on that day, you can uh, suck it because I don't care. Yeah, I don't. I'm so happy I got this card in the end, and I'm pretty sure my brother's pretty stoked to have it as well. But as you can see, it's pretty flawless. The centering is absolutely beautiful. We've already checked out the back. Absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to see this. I. There's no way it's getting any less than a nine, but uh, we're obviously hoping for that ten. But yeah, let's uh, let's get into the final ball, shall we? Hopefully finish strong. We started strong. Let's bloody finish strong. Right, guys, so my camera actually just cut out, and I've started filming again. So if this is something decent, I'm a really bit worried. Just to be clear, I'm going to reverse this thing. I'm going to put the code card back up, and if you don't... It's fair enough if you think I'm bullshitting if we pull something decent, but I promise you I'm not after this at this many videos. I honestly forgot to press record and I forgot to show the goddamn Ultra Ball opening. So yeah, we opened up an Ultra Ball. What a way to finish it, eh? It absolutely fucked it. Apologies. Do you want to see the Ultra Ball? Do you want to see the Volcanian coin? I'll bring that back too. Right, yeah, just bump me light. See, is it gonna come into focus? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be cutting this part anymore because I generally feel bloody awful about it. Right, that's out the way. Code card, I hope someone pulls something decent. Right, yeah, I've probably just given that away as well. Right, yeah, psychic energy. Oh, oh fucking, after all this, I, I, I do a mistake like that, it's ridiculous. We got a wishy washy, we got a diabetic radicate, we got an XP share, we got a lonely meowth, we got a sand isle, we got a crab roller, we got a drowsy, we got a grubbin, we got a reverse holo poison barb, and on the end, we've got a, a hollow rebombi. Okay. Okay, I mean, I'm hoping someone, no one's going to accuse me of faking the openings for fucking Hollow Rebombi. It's not the greatest pull. Of, it's a beautiful card, don't get me wrong. I can't, can't fault it whatsoever, and it's a, I've been sick of uh, pulling it. It's Mosquito Pre-Evolution, so uh, yeah, beautiful card. What a start to this ball, despite it could being an absolute fake pull, but you believe what you want to believe, guys. Honestly, I'm a fucking idiot for uh, not recording that just then. Right, at least... At le <laughs> Right, yeah, so you probably didn't see the packs either. We got a Sun and Moon of Burning Shadows and Evolutions. And I was going to finish, do my standard order. I was going to finish on the Evolution because I want a Charizard. Imagine if I hadn't recorded this and I actually pulled a Charizard now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, yeah, Burning Shadows. I'm a bit thrown, guys. Apologies. Right, code card. One, two, three, four to the front. Burning Shadows, you've treated me well so far today. Let's continue that luck. Look at that off-centered fairy energy. We've got some bodybuilding dumbbells, we've got a shouting ride on, we've got that weird eel thing, we've got that really psyched pan sage, stuff all, meowth in grease, boxing crab, Charmander, who honestly at this point, mate, I, I've got no more concern for you. You clearly don't want to live anymore. You don't why are you standing in that rain? To be fair, he does look depressed. Seek help, please, buddy. We've got a reverse holo Diancy, which is a reverse holo rare. It's a pretty cool reverse holo, I must say. I actually own this as well already both in the holo and the reverse holo version. So this is going to be one of the many cards going to the doubles giveaway for January, so stay tuned for that. And on the end, we've got a Scalopede. No one cares. Here it is, guys. The ultimate pack of this series. I wanted to... I was hoping it was going to be a Charizard, but I don't care. 
I either want a Mega Venusaur, Mega Blastoise, I've got a Mega Charizard, so I don't need that. I either want the Reverse Holo Charizard or the Holo Charizard. Reprint. Let's go. Come on, for the love of Christ. It's going to be a Farfetch. Knowing the irony of all this, it's either going to be a Raticate or a Farfetch. I know so many people wanted it to be a Farfetch, and for fucking up this video and uh, not recording the actual Ultra Ball opening, I deserve not to pull a Charizard. But let's see if uh, let's see what fate dictates. Right, code card. One, two, three to the front. Okay, whatever's on the back there, centering's okay. It's not the best. Right, we've got the Kakuna. We got the Potion. We got a Venusaur Spirit Link, which means I hope we're pulling a Venus or Mega Venusaur. You got a Diglett. So whoever wanted me to pull a Diglett, I think that's the third one I pulled this bloody episode. We got a bloody rat. Plenty of those. We got a Charmander. <laughs> we got an Energy. We got a Pikachu. Okay, two Pikachus today. We got a Reverse Holo Dugong, which is a Reverse Holo Rare. Watch this. It's gonna be, you know it. It's gonna be a far fetched. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a far fetched or a fucking Raticate or a B Drill or an Electrode or an Arcanine even. And if it's an Arcanine, it's gonna get my hopes up because I'm gonna see red. But end on the end, guys. Finishing this entire series is. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm not fast. We pulled the Charizard, guys. I can't be too mad. I mean, I'm still going to do this because fuck you, Raticate. As much, it's not as exciting as the uh, other things I've done, guys. Imagine if that was some sort of amazing error card or some sort of secret rare Raticate that I didn't even double check. But yeah, nah, she's in pieces now. So uh, uh, that's too bad, Raticate. That's too bad. But yeah, guys, I honestly deserve that for completely fucking up the ball opening. Right. Okay. Should we check out the last one? I think I've saved this one to last intentionally. But um, yeah, nah, this, I'm excited to show this. My uh, my brother's absolutely buzzing with it, um, and he's going to carry on collecting. And if I'm happy to feature them on the channel, if you guys want me to feature on the channel, we might may as well make that question of the day, guys. What content do you want me to post more of? Obviously, I'm going to be taking a few days off after this series ends, but uh, yeah, freshly in the new years, I want to know, guys, what, what what kind of content do you want me to see? I don't. People saying, "Well, open a first edition base set booster pack." If you want to lend me like 10 grand, yeah, I'll happily do that for you, mate. But uh, I don't have that kind of money, guys. And people say, oh, you got some PSA 9 cards there. They're first edition. You got money. These aren't my cards. Just so we're clear, as I've already said. Actually, no, it's a two-part question. I want to know what's your favorite memory of this entire series. And I want to know what content you want me to post next year. Because I'm hoping you stay, stick around, guys. Again, I absolutely appreciate the support. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I can't fault anyone whatsoever. So, again, I appreciate it. But, yeah, the final card, guys, is... A Dark Gyarados first edition from the Rocket set in another PSA 9. Yes, we didn't get any PSA 10s. We've sent some other cards off, so hopefully hopefully they get a 10, but we'll find out, guys. But yeah, look at this beautiful card. Absolutely phenomenal. Gyarados, again, I've said it. I showed his Christmas present from me. Which obviously he's buzzing with, so we're hoping it comes back in here. We can have a we can have a dark Gyarados next to Misty's Gyarados, and that would be absolutely exceptional. In a PSA nine or above, of course. I know that Misty's Gyarados is getting a bloody PSA nine or above for sure. So he, yeah, again, he was pretty happy with it. But yes, yeah, sweet, right. So that was the end of the series, guys. Oh no, wait, we've got another bloody Marvel Advent Counter opening because you know that's half the reason everyone's here. Between that and the ball rolls, no one really cares about the openings. Right, the final Marvel Advent Counter opening is. She-Hulk, okay, we finished on two two very strong females to uh, to end the series for the Marvel Avon calendar opening for play Christmas Eve, I'm not complaining, they did announce the She-Hulk, someone's going to have to let me know in the comment section below whether or not it's a She-Hulk series they're bringing out for Disney Plus or they're doing a She-Hulk movie, and rumour is they're bringing back Daredevil from the Netflix series because she's a lawyer by trade and obviously he was a lawyer in that, so I think it was a, it'll be a brilliant move on that part to bring back that, uh, that fan base for that show, plus... He was a good. He played Daredevil decent enough, no? He'd be good in it. He'd be good in MC, wouldn't he? But yeah, enough of that. We've got She-Hulk here. So yes, yeah, sweet. I'm buzzing for this because she's unlike Hulk. Oh, well, she's more like Hulk in Endgame if you've seen that, where she's strong. But yeah, guys, enough of that. Let's. Uh, should we do reviews of the day? Let's do review of the pool of the day, despite being those obviously the best cards of this. Probably the best card you'll see in this entire series. But yeah, guys, the pulls of the day has to go to literally the very first ball from the Burning Shadows and the Evolutions that haven't treated me the best. Actually, Burning Shadows has treated me very well. You finally got that Charizard. 
I appreciate all you lot for bringing the heat and obviously we got the Mega Pidgeot EX which I'm not complaining about because it's a card I don't own and we previously pulled the Pidgeot EX in this series the full art version so again we finished strong we finished strong with the first ball anyways guys um, but uh, it's honestly I can't I can't fault your support in this series enough if you want me to do something similar like this for another big giveaway I may do another base set or vintage card giveaway at some point but yeah make sure you stay tuned for that and as of next year every month I'm going to be doing sort of a doubles giveaway so again it's going to be worth my Maintaining your subscription, so to speak. Oh, that sounds weird uh, for next year. If you don't, guys, I feel if you, I mean, it's probably going to be very obvious those who joined for the giveaway after this, because I feel like I feel like after every major giveaway on YouTube, the sub count drops a little bit. So if that's how you feel, crack on. Um, I'm a bit disappointed then that you've entered purely for the giveaway and not just for the content because I know there's a lot of people out there that have engaging thoroughly and have been doing bloody well so again you lot absolute legends but yeah and I can't fault you enough you brought the heat and that's why we pulled the chars on the end again it's not the chars that we wanted but it's the chars that we bloody got honestly seriously I can't I can't I can't say it enough the support has been absolutely phenomenal but going back to the giveaways again I'm also going to be doing a thousand sub giveaway for one week well I'm also going to be doing a thousand sub giveaway for whenever that happens, which you people have given me a bunch of ideas because that was, that was one of the questions of the day in a previous video. So uh, yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that thousand sub mark. Maybe help me get there a little bit quicker, guys. Maybe uh, if you enjoy the content, share it with your friends. If you hate the content, share it with your enemies. There you go, everybody wins. Especially if we get to that thousand sub mark quicker. And then you know what, we get a, you, you get, you, you get, I'm gonna do a bit of a massive giveaway. I'm thinking about possibly giving away a booster box for, for the thousand subs, but uh, it, 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 we'll see, we'll see. We'll We'll see. I just happen to have a spare Darkness Ablaze booster box just lying around. So uh, if you want to get your hands on a Charizard bloody themed set, literally 36 packs, I'm going to be doing it. Well, I keep saying maybe. I keep saying maybe. It's probably going to happen. So we're going to be doing a booster box giveaway for my thousand sub along with another bunch of other videos like an Ask Me Anything and, and a bunch of various openings, of course. But guys, again, you absolute legends, make sure you follow those rules accordingly. I can't stress this enough. So this video is aiming to go out at 6 p.m. British Standard Time, or 6 p.m. GMT. I'm pretty sure that's the actual term. For some reason, I just say British Standard Time. I don't know why. It's maybe because the contest is going to be ending at midnight Pacific Standard Time, which is the West Coast of America time zone. Uh, so 8 a.m. British Time. Tomorrow morning on Christmas Day, I'm gonna be stopping comments for this video. So if you haven't got your like and comment in, guys, you will not be entered to the final draw, which I will be trying, doing my best to record, because I don't know how, uh, I don't know how to screen record on Max, but I'll find out. And so I'm sure someone in the comment section below will tell me how to do it. But yeah, guys, I look forward to that draw. The best of luck to all of you guys. Again, I can't, I can't fault your support enough. Make sure you go check me out on Instagram at Super Smash Pokemon 64. You absolute massive legends. Um, I want to see your pulls. I want to engage with you a bit more on there. But yeah, guys, I look forward to doing the draw. I look, I look forward to seeing you into 2021 with us. But other than that, I hope you're all doing well no matter where you are in the world. I hope you have an amazing Christmas morning. But as always, guys, take it easy. Peace out.